Hi everyone, this is Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham Medical. I'm here today to do another one of our uh, patient presentation walkthrough videos. Uh, these are the videos where I take a patient who I performed a hair transplant on at our office and uh, present their case, kind of walk through their case. So the uh, case that we're doing this week is a, a very, very classic hairline frontal band case. Uh, this is something that we do extremely, extremely frequently at the office, at least a couple of them a week. I think it's something that we're pretty well known for. I think we do a good job with it. So this was a patient who came to see us uh, for just that, to get his hairline and frontal band fixed. Uh, a couple interesting things we'll go through with his case. Uh, it's a case of somebody who tried a little FUE, ended up switching to FUT here. A uh, patient that has a few interesting things with regard to hair type, contrast uh, between the, the hair tone and the skin tone. So a few things we'll, we'll jump into here while we're discussing. But uh, speaking of which, let's jump right in and go through his case. Okay, so this patient is a gentleman in his early 30s from Europe who uh, previously had 2,100 grafts via FUE placed into his hairline, mainly the corners and sprinkled a little bit in the front. In his words, he said it worked okay, but uh, he wanted to really drop it down, which you'll see here in a moment. And in order to do this, he just didn't have as much confidence in the FUE. He did some research and said, look, I'd rather do this as a strip. I really, really need this to grow. Uh, you know, as, as good as it possibly can to match that nice thick surrounding hair. So he came to see us. This is what we proposed doing. This was kind of the design he wanted. Definitely a drop, definitely a flattening, but nothing too crazy. I said, I think we'll need about maybe 16, 1700 grafts. Ended up doing 1655 grafts, dense pack, as you can see here. Beautiful surgery. Okay, so as you can see, a uh, very, very nice case, very classic dense packed frontal band there. A few things to mention. Um, as I previously said before, he had some FUE done uh, over in Europe. Um, well known, you know, clinic. Uh, he, he was, he said it worked fine. Um, but uh, one issue that he had and that we had when we went in to do our procedure is that he was pretty significantly over harvested. They really took from the right and uh, the, the back portion of the donor area. And by the time the, the FUE harvesting was done there, that side was really just blown out. And I didn't think that it would really do as much good to take anything from there as a strip because the strip would be all picked over. So we only took from the left and the, the back portion on him. Um, obviously too, you could see that, you know, his hair type was gonna work to our advantage, had that nice big thick, um, kind of wavy hair, but we still packed them in there tight because we needed to match that surrounding hair. You can't skimp on density uh, when you have surrounding hair like that. That could have been another issue with a little bit of maybe the grower, the lower, excuse me, lower growth yields from that prior FUE is uh, if that growth isn't just right where you want it to be and you have such nice thick surrounding hair, you just aren't going to get that effect. Um, so that's what we did for him. Uh, so I next saw the patient back uh, a little over a year later. Like I said, he's, he's over from Europe. So he was back here maybe 15 months or so later. And uh, this is how he looked. So I'm gonna show some images here first. Uh, this is just how he kind of walked into the clinic. I, I combed his hair a little bit just because it was so thick and full. Uh, but uh, this is him about 15 months after his 1655 graft FUT procedure. All right, so here we go. So like I said, I had a little bit of, of water in his hair just to kind of comb it away there. But as you can see, just Gorgeous. I think if you saw this patient on the street, you would never in a million years think, that, think that's a hair transplant. It just looks like a guy with a, a, a very nice natural hairline. Um, and another thing that you can see a few comparison pictures here, you know, this is, is comparing sort of what the FUE clinic did with a little bit in the front, just the corners there to what we did. Um, as you can see, when you're working with such thick, full surrounding hair, you really have to pack it in there tight. You really have to make sure uh, that that density is there or you're just not going to get the effect. Last thing I'm going to show here is just a few pictures you can see with the band for band pulled back comparison just for, uh, for fairness sake. So there he is 15 months after his surgery. Okay, the last thing I want to get into here is the uh, video. So it tries to do the wet comb through as best as I could, but uh, his hair is, is just kind of so wavy and, and all over the place. It's a little bit hard to do, so it took me a few attempts here. But uh, here is some comb through video from uh, that same day, about 15 months or so after his, uh, his FUT procedure. All right, so here we go. So this is with a little bit of water sprayed into it. A uh, good little frontal comparison there. So as you can see again, just fantastic. I, I think if you saw this guy just out on the street, uh, you would just think, wow, great head of hair. Or you'd think nothing because it's just looked like he had good hair, so it wouldn't draw any attention. A few things I want to mention. Um, 
even though this patient has a very, very good hair type because it's nice and thick and full and wavy, he also has a pretty high contrast between the skin color and the hair color. And with that, plus with a thicker, coarser hair, sometimes it's hard to create that really soft, natural hairline. So what we did with the breakup is we focused mainly on kind of that round, undulating, few little breaks, few little pointed breaks there, but even those were a little bit blunted, but I think it worked really well for him. Last thing I'm gonna show here is his FUT scar, good little FUT scar. All right, so there you have it. A very, very classic, you know, hairline frontal band case. Um, I'm, I'm very, very pleased for this patient. This is what he wanted to do. You know, he really wanted to do that nicer, lower, kind of broader frontal band there. Um, he tried it with the, the FUE, and, and again, in his words, it worked okay, but he was just a little bit hesitant, you know, to, to really, really... Uh, you know, kind of take the plunge there and do that lower, flatter, more aggressive plan with grafts that, that just maybe weren't quite as good as uh, and didn't grow quite as well as, as these FUT did. And, and I, I think it worked out very well for him. Um, it was a very strategic plan as far as where we, we harvested from back there. A uh, good scar, I would say that's an average FUT scar. It's probably about two millimeters or so, which is uh, average. You know, I, I always tell patients our average FUT scar is anywhere between, you know, less than a millimeter if you're a perfect healer to maybe two, three millimeters of stretch if you're a bit of a natural stretcher. So his was somewhere in the middle there, but still a great little scar. And you can see what he got for it. You know, what he got in exchange for that were those the fantastic strip quality graphs in the front that allowed him to have that result. Um, like I was mentioning a little bit as well, took a, a, a strategic approach to breaking up the hairline. We always personalize hairlines here. That's something that's very important, um, is making sure that you're crafting a hairline that fits that patient, that fits their goals that works with their hair type, um, their, their skin tone, the, the contrast between the hair and the skin type, that takes the number of grafts you're gonna get into account, taking the height and the shape fit into account, taking the surrounding hair into account. As you can tell, uh, we're a little bit obsessed with it here, we're a little bit of hair nerds, uh, but I think it makes a difference. So again, just a nice little classic hairline case, uh, something we do very frequently here, something I love doing. Hairlines are my, my favorite thing to do. Um, so uh, I hope this was interesting. I hope that if there's anyone out there whose hairline is maybe not quite looking the way that it, it did before, that this gives you some, you know, some hope that uh, you can definitely uh, fix it. You can definitely do something like this patient did here. Um, as usual, uh, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Uh, thank you for subscribing to the channel. I am Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller Bloxham Medical, and we will see you in the next one.